of uh, January 2020. At the invitation of the government of the Republic of Uganda, the chairperson of the African Union Commission, His Excellency Musa Faki Mahamad, deployed an election expert mission to witness the general election held on the 14th of January 2021. The mission led by my humble self, former chairperson of the Electoral Commission of the Republic of Cameroon, comprises high-level election experts from Kenya and Isuto and African Union Commission staff led by Her Excellency Minata Samatis Sisuna, Commissioner for Public Affairs. Although it is the tradition of the African Union Commission to deploy observer missions well ahead of the election day, this expert mission arrived in Kampala on the eve of the elections, that is on the 13th of January 2021. This late arrival is due to the difficult working conditions that have been imposed on us by the COVID-19 pandemic. This notwithstanding, the Republic of Uganda, being a key member of the African Union, that plays a significant role in ensuring peace and security in the East African region, and on the entire continent of Africa, notably its open door policy for refugees necessitated the deployment of this mission. This is consequently not a classical preliminary statement issued by observer missions. It is more a report a brief statement made by a solidarity mission dispatched by the African Union chairperson. Notwithstanding what I just said about the limitations of what we've done, the mission was able to observe polling day activities in Kampala and its immediate environs, notably uh, opening of voting procedures at a couple of polling stations, the voting procedures, closing procedures, especially the counting and the tallying of votes. The mission noted the generally peaceful atmosphere that characterized voting and the high turnout of the youth and women in the stations the mission was able, in the polling stations the mission was able to observe. The mission made a number of stakeholders, including the acting secretary, uh, secretary of the Electoral Commission, the East African Community Observer Mission, and the Women's Situation Room. And the mission is looking forward to engaging with other stakeholders, notably government officials, and political parties before it departs Kampala. Finally, the mission recognizes that elections come and go, but that Uganda and its citizens remain. The mission takes this opportunity to urge all stakeholders, especially political leaders, to refrain from any acts of violence that could lead to loss of life and destruction of property. It also encourages stakeholders to engage in meaningful dialogue at all levels and to pursue any disputes peacefully in accordance with laid down procedures. The mission wishes the people of this great nation well as they continue to strive for its development in peace and national concord. I thank you.
let me answer this question because they are taking very long time to take the second floor. Uh, you know what we are saying is uh, what we have seen and uh, in general we can say that the security has been guaranteed in general the elections were free and fair this don't means that there has been no problem here and there but you know in the elections you never perform hundred to hundred you must perform you see for example the question of internet was not very good for everybody it's necessary for us to ask the government to see how next time they can improve it in some places it has run it was raining I think next time it is necessary to find solution on it you know in some places in some polling station the machine has not worked immediately and this took for some one hour it is necessary to recommend to the government to do so this don't occur next time that is a recommendation to improve the procedure and uh, maybe in some place they have been uh, brutality from one or two or some policemen it is necessary for us to tell to the government to avoid this kind of situation but this don't mean that the election was not free and fair that is our point of view but you will be with us to note that in the country there was peace in general I think everybody you agree on this and uh, when we ask to our members who have been through the country the accounting has been very transparent I think this is shared by all observers we must note that this is a, a very good thing so this kind of situation we must encourage it that is the position we have till now I say till now why till now you seem to say that somebody is contesting the result that's right but we need ourselves to know how to know how and that what we say this is a preliminary statement if we have the proof we can change our position in the future but that's what we have seen up to now. Thank you very much. Wait. You know, uh, the a recommendation is a recommendation. If we ourselves, we must implement it, I could say yes. But the recommendation I given to the government, to the parliament, uh, to the parliament, to the political parties, we hope that they understand what we mean and that they will follow. That is our hope. 
maybe if you want to know the reality, should be better to ask them, have you understand what the ESC mission recommended you? Thank you. you. Uh, we will therefore not extrapolate. So we will not pretend to speak about things that we did not see and observe. Uh, my <laughs> grandfather used to tell us that we must take an oath, take an oath for what you've seen and experienced. Don't take an oath for the things you were told, things that were reported to you. Uh, speaking as the past EMB uh, chairperson, I can say that the little we saw regarding the material organization of the election this was visible. We visited the Tallinn, your national Tallinn Center. Very impressive. Uh, so already we commend the work at this level, uh, at the level we could observe, the work by the EMB, your EMB, which is at the center of the organization, management and supervision of elections in your country. We commend the work that they were able to do at this level. Uh, having had a rather limited time within which to observe, I think we do not want to run the risk of making qualifications which we cannot substantiate. Uh, I hope you should agree with us. I think, it's on, I think it would not be fair for you to expect us that if we um, observe a few polling stations in Kampala and on the, uh, in the immediate envi environs of uh, Kampala, we should um, pretend to be in a position to judge on whether these elections overall were free fair, uh, free, fair and transparent. But we said, of course, that what we saw, told you what we saw and that we were um, pleased with what we saw. Uh, and again, as the head of the East African Community Chairperson has said, no country anywhere in the world organizes perfect elections. I think generally the golden, uh, the golden standard for these elections is whether whatever shortcomings there were, were enough to impact on the overall results of the elections. Excellency. Observe the mainly uh, where people was voting. The next step was to transfer the result to the high scale. Up to now, we have been informed by electoral commission on the national level. The result, uh, I've been yesterday at the first declaration, but it is an intermediate 
result. Um, it is a provisional result, I mean. I think we must wait for the last declaration. And as a woman, as a mother, I would like to appeal to all the stakeholders, Ugandan all stakeholders, political parties, especially young people. Uh, we are waiting now for the result of election. We are waiting for the result of election. I will appeal and insist. Uh, the head of mission already talked about it to appeal for calm uh, for uh, all citizens, all sick parties to refrain from act of violence. We need uh, the Africa we want, peaceful Africa, stable Africa, and uh, developed Africa. We cannot have that one without peace, security, and act of violence, and uh, destru destruction of properties, we don't need that one. We need all Africans to build the Africa we want, and especially uh, our young people. I'm told that in Uganda, we have more than 6% of young people. We count on them. They are the future of Africa. We need all of you. We need Uganda as a member of African Union, as I, I said, to build the Africa we want, counting on, new, uh, or, on your generation. And also, uh, we have a team of G this year. Uh, we have to silence the guns. We don't need any more uh, 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 arms in Africa and all the continent, especially in Uganda. This was my message, feeling as a, a lady, as a woman, and counting on all uh, Ugandans, and especially young generation, to refrain from violence as we are waiting for it. So thank you, Head of Missions. Na electoral commission na tulikuwa na team kubwa ya watu um, sabini na ine na wote sabini na ine wameenezwa uh, kila sehemu ya nchi hii ya Uganda wameenda kutazama vile uchaguzi ilianza na mpaka mwisho na wametoa maoni uh, tofauti tofauti kutoka kila sehemu lakini yale ya muhimu sana wamesema ni kwamba uh, kwanza uh, uchaguzi yenyewe haikuanza uh, kwa saa yale ambaye ilikuwa ime imetatuliwa ime, na ile ilikuwa ni saa moja ya usiku asubuhi uh, uh, samoja, samoja ya asubuhi uh, na zingine uh, uh, sababu ya kuchelewa ilikuwa ni tofauti tofauti kwanza ilikuwa zing, sehemu zingine zilikuwa na mvua ambayo ilizuia watu kuanza mapema na sehemu zingine zilikuwa ni eh, materiali yenyewe ya uchaguzi pia ilichelewa kufika on time na kuna, kuna wakati kuna sehemu zingine zilikuwa ni incompetence tu ya uh, wafanyikazi pia ilizuia watu na kuna sababu zingine uh, pia ambazo zilikuwa zimezuia watu kufika on time lakini uh, kwa jumla uchaguzi yenyewe ilikuwa na yamani watu wali endelea ku, kupiga kura bila kuzuiliwa bila kutatizwa na u, usalama yenyewe watu polisi walikuwa wameendesha kazi yao kwa, kwa kwa ujuzi mzuri na walikuwa hawashughuliki na ku, 
kutetemesa uh, au ku kutetemesa watu kwa hivyo uh, na, na tena uh, ime, kiongozi amesema juu ya e, ugonjwa wa hatari ya covid watu walikuwa wamevaa uh, barakoa kwa wengi lakini kuna sehemu ambayo tumepata habari ya kwamba watu walikuwa hata wana barakoa lakini wanaweka mfukoni hawazitumii lakini uh, kwa kuchunga uh, social distancing uh, pia imesemekana sehemu nyingi sana hata hapa Kampala watu hawachungi walikuwa hawachunguzi uh, mambo ya social distancing sana na hiyo ni sehemu yote ya ya Uganda pale tulikuwa na observers hiyo pia wame observe hivyo uh, kwa hivyo kuna kuna mambo mengi ambayo ime uh, semekana hapa lakini uh, kwa jumla uh, uh, ime uh, uchaguzi ambayo tuliona vile mpaka sasa a uh, preliminary observation ni kwamba ilikuwa ya amani na ilikuwa eh, kisawa sawa kwa hii kupiga kura lakini zingine ambazo watu kuona hatuwezi kusema lakini yale ambayo tumeona imekuwa ya amani na kisawa sawa hayo ni kwa hayo machache singeweza kutafsiri yote lakini hayo machache ndio naweza kutafsiri kwa Kiswahili ndio ndio hiyo tungependa tu, pia kukutana na wa, wanachama wa wa, wa upinzani kwa sababu ni muhimu sana hatuja hii ripoti tumetoa ni preliminary lakini yale ya, ya mwisho tunataka kuitoa tukisha kutana na uh, wapinzani pia waseme maoni yao kuhusu uchaguzi kwa sababu maoni yao ni muhimu kwa sababu wao pia ni stakeholders kubwa kwa uh, hii process ambayo inaendelea ya uchaguzi asante sana Eh? Ah, statement yetu vile kiongozi alikuwa amesoma amesema uh, tulikuwa na habari kwamba wakati wa campaign tu, kulikuwa matatizo uh, kwa opposition kusumbuliwa na hata ku, kushikwa na kuzuiliwa kuwa na mikutano zao uh, za kufanya campaign na hizi ni lazima uh, na hizi zitakuwa kwa recommendation uh, zi, zirekebishwe kwa uchaguzi za hapo usoni. Mbeleni. Asante.